Thank you, Ted. This weekend, many students and their families will return to Stoneman Douglas High for the first time since the shooting. And today, some teachers went back to campus for the first of what will be many more tear-filled tear days there. CBS 4's Silva Harpedion is live at the school with more. Silva. Well, it is past 11 and we still continue to see people stopping by the flowers and the candles and the and the notes keep growing here at the school now preparing for the student to come back on Wednesday. Teachers started today on a voluntary half day and it was quite an emotional day. For the first time since the mass shooting, teachers returned to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Crisis counselors and dozens of therapy dogs greeted the teachers on this voluntary half day return to work. Every teacher came, even those who were wounded. They know emotionally and some of them physically shouldn't be here. Every single one of them showed up. Every single one of them showed up. Very emotional. Very emotional. Everybody's hugging and kissing each other and sad, very sad. Broward School Superintendent promised teachers and students who return next week will get all the support they need. Some classes, he said, will be relocated to other buildings within the school. Students, they may have different locations that they're going to be in, but they'll be with the same classmates and um, teachers. Ron C. rejected President Trump and NRA's call for teachers and administrators to carry firearms. Spend money on adding more school resource officers and law enforcement personnel out there. Th asking our teachers to carry guns, that's, to me, that's an easy way out. Fifth grade teacher and elected Broward Teachers Union president representing 18,000 union members. To say that, you know, we're packing is going to keep somebody out, I don't believe that's the case. Runcy condemned school resource deputy Scott Peterson after it was learned that he crouched behind his car outside the school, failed to confront the shooter last week. I'm extremely um, upset, uh, outraged. Um, it's. Uh, you know, inexcusable. As more details unfold and the debate continues, teachers at the school work to regain focus. We're going to try and get back to as normal as possible and, and, and really take care of the kids. That's the bottom line. And we learned today that the Broward County Police Benevolent Association is calling for all off-duty officers to be here on Wednesday to help welcome teachers and students back to campus. I'm Silva Harapetti on CBS4 News tonight.